All right, uh, here we are in Scribbler. We created our room, and now we're ready to get started. Uh, first thing, I want to kind of show you the basics. Uh, on the side here, you've got uh, your basic drawing tools. These are basic drawing tools that you find on any kind of uh, drawing program. You can draw lines, you can draw uh, squares and rectangles, circles, triangles, etc. Uh, one thing you want to make sure you know is whenever you select an object or you draw one, you can change the uh, object's properties down here. So if I want to change the outline, if I want to change the fill, I can do that. You can see as I'm working, um, I've invited some other people in. We'll see how many I get. Right now I've got one. Um, this is Kyle. He's also drawing at the same time I am. And that's really the power of Scribbler, that you can have more than one person um, working on the same document at the same time. To add text, like he's typing right there, you click on this A button. You can add text just like that. And anytime you need to move anything, you get back to that arrow and move it around. Okay, I also want to point out to you the buttons on the top. You've got some basic kind of functional buttons up here. Cut, you've got paste, undo, redo. You can flip objects. Uh, you can lock objects, which is helpful if you want to lock an object where you can't have students to move it. That's how you do that. You click on an object and you lock it up. Um, not only does it lock up the object, it locks up the whole screen. Uh, these two we'll talk about here in a moment, and uh, these two buttons, the Take a Snapshot and the Equation Editor, we'll talk about in the next video, Beyond the Basics. And right here you can change the background if you want to. Alright, uh, so that's the buttons on the side and the buttons on the top. I want to kind of introduce you also to the chat space here. Uh, this is another really cool feature. While you are uh, creating this document online with a partner or more, you can also chat. And they can also uh, return chat. You can change the color of the font so that it's easier to pick out which student is chatting when. Uh, the, other, the, the other feature that's really cool here is you click on the options here. And you can uh, change the font size if it's too small or too big. You can clear the chat, but I really also like this feature right here where you can save the chat transcript. So if you've got some really cool uh, chatting going on between students and you want to save it, you just click on save the chat transcript comes up here, saves that as a text file, and then you can keep it for uh, whatever you need it for. Alright, uh, I also want to show you how you can add another really cool feature here, which is adding different pages. So right here I'm on page one of one. If I want to add a page two, I can click over. I can click and make up to five pages. I've had up to 150 pages up here. Um, and then there's a the simple navigation to get back and forth between pages. And so that's really cool, like if you want to set up a page for a group of students, each student's group can have its own uh, page to work on. And uh, that's how you do it, down here in the pages. Now, if you want to get rid of your pages, like let's say you created 150, uh, and you want to get rid of them, you can come up to these buttons here, clear page and clear all pages. Clear page clears the current page, clear all pages takes all of them and clears everything out and gets you back to just that first page. Alright, and the last thing I want to make sure you know before you uh, get started with Scribbler is how to share this. How did I invite these people in? Well, it was real simple. I took this link right here. Uh, this is the Rooms link, and I just copied it, and I pasted it. Um, I pasted it into Twitter to invite them in. You could paste it on the website. You could email, email it out to people. Um, but basically, anyone that has this link can click on the link and come right in and edit your page as just like they're doing right here as I'm talking. So uh, that's Scribbler. That's the basics, the tools on the right and the left, the chat box, and how to share it out. And uh, in the next video, we'll kind of go beyond the basics and talk about this assets tab and also um, how to embed this room. All right. Happy Scribbling.